Hi, this is Tyler from Second Swing Golf at the 2016 PGA Show. We're high atop the Bridgestone booth and we're lucky enough to have with us Josh from Bridgestone Golf talking about a new exciting line from Bridgestone, the JGR line. We're taking a look at the woods today. Josh, tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, the JGR is uh, our fastest driver ever. So when we set out to make the JGR driver, the engineers, their only goal was to make it our fastest and most forgiving driver ever, and they've achieved just that. So we're very, very excited for the new JGR line. Tell us a little bit about the technology that's behind it. Like you see that there's some milling on the face. What other things can we see from the JGR? Yeah, definitely. So the JGR features four key technologies. Um, start with our fast crown design. Uh, a couple of our competitors in the industry, they have very uh, reflexive technology down here on the sole of a golf club. That's very wrong from a physics standpoint. Obviously, when you're making impact just above the center of the face, you're going to want the flexibility up here at the top, and that's just what we've done with JGR. features our fast ground design again. That stands for flex action speed technology. Fancy way of saying that at impact, the face is going to flex backwards, giving you higher launch, increased repulsion, increased trampoline off the face. Uh, new for JGR is speed arc. And that's going to be two internal arc-shaped ridges down here on the bottom of the club that are going to add sole rigidity. So as opposed to competitors that are very soft down here, we're just the opposite. We're very, very firm, very, very rigid. That gives a more stable base for the crown to flex against. Third technology is our power milling technology. Many of you have seen our 715 and 815 drivers. The power milling uh, technology has been improved for JGR in that we added this vertical milling pattern on both the heel and the toe profile. That's going to help. Uh, with that horizontal side spin, that horizontal uh, gear effect, if you will, thereby reducing overall spin, thereby reducing side spin, which is going to help direct those shots hit on the toe and heel back into the fairway. Awesome. Um, we've also spaced the milling a little bit different apart this year, you'll notice. Spacing is made a little bit further apart up here at the top when you want to maintain the spin, and uh, spacing is much tighter and rougher down here at the bottom to help further grab the ball and reduce the spin. So all in all, what this power milling does is it grabs the ball, allows you to get a much better and cleaner quality compression time to reduce the spin. And then finally, we have these two adjustable weights here that just allow you to dial in your trajectory both left to right, right to left, as well as up and down. So, And you're going to see these same technologies in the fairway and hybrid as well? Yeah, the fairway wood is going to feature those four same technologies. We did make one uh, exception with the hybrid. We removed the power milling face on the hybrid, and that's simply uh, to increase spin. We know that players typically hit hybrids into the greens. They're going to need a higher apex angle. Uh, they're going to need more steep landing angles coming to the greens, and they're going to need increased spin. Um, the most incredible thing was that uh, Brant Snedeker came to the test site. First time he had ever seen the driver. He comes in on December 15th, hits his driver, hits this driver, immediately picks up two miles an hour in Bob's uh, ball speed and eight to ten yards in distance. So wow. he put it in the bag at the Hyundai Tournament of Champions, and of course I'm sure you saw he finished third there. Next week he finished second. So off to a great start with JGR. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. As you can hear, Bridgestone is super excited about this lineup, and as is Second Swing. Stop in, schedule your fitting online today to get fit for the JGRs.